my lovely, lovely imps, I have some very, very good news today. Some of you will notice uh, that I only look this happy when we've had a political victory. <laughs> and that's because, to be honest, we live in pretty rough times and political victories make me feel great. And you might all be asking, well, what political victory could have you smiling quite like this? Well, actually, more than one. But the first one we're gonna talk about is the defeat of Tucker Carlson at the hands of Provo Dark Joe Dark Brandon Biden. Actually, Joe Biden doesn't seem to have had anything to do with it. But nonetheless, Tucker Carlson has been ousted at Fox News. Unironically, like, he's done. They're done. They've parted ways completely. Which is amazing, honestly. And if that seems a little bit mean-spirited, oh, it is. It's ab I have nothing but mean spirits for Tucker Carlson. Um, as I'm sure almost everyone here will know, regardless of where you stand on the political spectrum, Tucker Carlson is uh, one of Fox News' foremost uh, political commentators, uh, political news commentators. Um, and he is... He's, he's one of their most popular, and also he's one of their most profitable, which makes this whole situation very strange. But Tucker Carlson has spent the last few years yelling about trans people, yelling about how evil Black Lives Matter is. He spent the last few years yelling about how he hates immigrants, oh, sorry, how he uh, doesn't approve of immigrants. Uh, he spent the last few years yelling about how he doesn't approve of uh, democratic reforms that ensure that people have the right to vote. Uh, Tucker Carlson is sort of like a one-man rogues gallery of the worst possible political opinions you can possibly believe in unless you only really care uh, about building a world that functionally resembles a monarchy. Which interestingly, of course, as we all know, is Tucker Carlson's whole thing. Tucker Carlson is one of the heirs to the Swanson Food Company family uh, dynasty. He's an impossibly rich trust fund baby um, who on video admitted to being completely whipped by Rupert Murdoch. Rupert Murdoch being the uh, sort of no longer like actual de facto leader of Fox News, but the original leader of Fox News uh, and who still maintains an incredible amount of power and who also installed his son um, as the current CEO of Fox News. And uh, uh, Tucker Carlson himself said that he would basically, he, he literally described himself as Rupert Murdoch's bitch. Like, no joke. That's how he self-described in a interview. Um which is certainly interesting. Um, so this is great news. Um, and it's great news because Tucker Carlson should not have a platform. He should not have a platform at all, let alone should he have a internationally syndicated platform where he can spew hatred to the world over with literal fake news. Tucker Carlson's show has gotten away by, uh, by, with the excuse of being entertainment while literally making up stories. A lot of the things that Tucker Carlson reports on, he defers to other people. So he will say, I'm just retelling the story told by blank person. And then when you look at the person that was telling that story in the first place, it make, turns out they just basically made it up or completely embellished it. And then he goes, well, that's not my problem. And of course, what are you going to do about some nobody who made up a story and then he blew it up to high heaven? Well, he gets away with it because it's entertainment. He's not actually a journalist, even though He's on a news show, even though he presents his show like a news show, even though he constantly t engages with his audience as if he's doing a news show. Um, Catalina Gearbox says, won't they just fill his spot with someone just as horrible? It's not that easy, actually. Um, some of you will recall 
uh, when Rush Limbaugh died. And a lot of people said the same thing about Rush Limbaugh. And I was a bit of a detractor uh, in, in that I said Rush Limbaugh was not just a patsy or a pawn. Rush Limbaugh was not just a cog in a machine. Rush Limbaugh was one of the most influential broadcasters in the history of American radio, and he built a radio empire. You can't just replace somebody like that on a moment's notice. You can't just swap out somebody who has that level of influence. And as it's turned out, they haven't been able to. There is no current replacement for Rush Limbaugh. In fact, the closest replacement for Rush Limbaugh has been basically Tucker Carlson. Um, and now Tucker Carlson's gone, which is great. It's great for anybody who cares about the world even a little bit. Um, I say this all the time and I'll say it again. The Republican Party and the conservative movement in America is a millstone around the neck of the entire planet. Uh, 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 this may sound a little bit Americentric, and I apologize for that to a certain degree, but also America is a, a belligerent world superpower. And the longer that we have people like Tucker Carlson and Rush Limbaugh spewing putrid hatred into the world, uh, warmongering nonsense, uh, anti-Semitic drivel, transphobic and homophobic trash, blasting out all hours of the day directly into the ears of as many people as they can possibly manage. The, the less time that we have those people on the air, the better off the world will be. So I'm very happy to hear that Tucker Carlson has lost this particular enormous platform. The replacement for Tucker will be more standard right wing and safer. Fox doesn't want another huge lawsuit. Well, see, that's the weird thing. I don't know why this happened. And it seems, to be honest, like nobody exactly knows why this happened. Um, uh, uh, nobody knows why Tucker Carlson has been let go. Now, I'm gonna go through a couple of, like sort of, we're gonna do a little bit of game theory, okay? Just a second here. Um, as to uh, as to why they might have fired Tucker Carlson. Um, some people say that it was the Dominion case. Now, uh, the Dominion case, of course, is referring to a lawsuit by the manufacturers of uh, electronic voting booths, a company by the name of Dominion. Uh, basically every single conservative news source on the planet jumped on board with some, let's just say very interesting and uh, very fraudulent claims about Dominion. Um, and this has resulted in a devastating lawsuit against Fox News um, to the tune of uh, hundreds of millions of dollars were just won by Dominion against Fox News. Um, however, while it is indeed plausible that perhaps Fox News would have been very angry at Tucker Carlson, Tucker Carlson wasn't one of the main people pushing the Dominion stuff. Tucker Carlson's show, while they did indeed push uh, some of the Dominion stuff, um, was actually one of the first shows to sort of back off the Dominion claims. Um, we actually talked about this on my stream a long time ago about how Tucker Carlson was backing away from uh, from these claims the more crazy that the Trump sphere went about the claims against Dominion, which is very strange. So uh, Tucker Carlson, while it is certainly possible still that he made enough claims that it damaged the network, to me, it doesn't seem quite logical uh, that they would fire their moneymaker, Tucker Carlson, who makes a ton of money for Fox News with his in incredibly popular show, <laughs> his, his formerly incredibly popular and now non-existent show. Um, uh, uh, it doesn't really make sense to me that they would fire him when he wasn't the one most pushing it. Um, 
there were a number of other broadcasters at Fox News that were uh, sort of hammering on the Dominion stuff much harder. And of course, um, Fox News generally reported on it a lot because Fox News is heavily watched by fans of Donald Trump and Donald Trump basically talked about that stuff nonstop for months upon months upon months. And I don't even know, like he still talks, about, he still brings it up, like it's still constant. So obviously the entirety of Fox News reported on this fraudulent bullshit um, uh, that, that Dominion has now won a lawsuit for, um, but it doesn't entirely make sense. Um, other people have speculated that this could be fallout from the uh, series of sexual harassment lawsuits that have been going on internal to Fox News. Um, uh, there have been a number of, of sexual harassment lawsuits levied within Fox News. And it is, it is possible, although speculative, I must note, that it could be tied to this. Um, and of course, there's the third option uh, which Killjoy in chat just brought up, which is, do you think it could be because of the comments that he made about Donald Trump? Well, interestingly, I would like to show you the comments that he made about Donald Trump. I believe I have them right here. Yes, I do. Um, let me just show you what was actually said because I do think this is a possibility, though I'm not 100% sure. Let's take a look at these real quick and let's enjoy a Tucker Carlson's um, private texts, which were revealed uh, in 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 the uh, in in a uh, loss in a in a loss in the text of a lawsuit. Let's take a look here. Here, I'm going to open it up, and we're going to zoom in a little bit. Alex Pfeiffer, Trump has a pretty low rate of success in his business ventures. Tucker Carlson, that's for sure. All of them fail. What he's good at is destroying things. He's the undisputed world champion of that. Then we also have this one. Let me get all of them. Here's the second set. Uh, uh, oh, that was the first one, sorry. Here we go. We are very, very close to being able to ignore Trump most nights. I truly can't wait. I hate him passionately. And of course, Trump has two weeks left. Once he's out, he becomes incalculably less powerful, even in the minds of his supporters. He's a demonic force, a destroyer, but he's not going to destroy us. I've been thinking about this every single day for four years. Pfeiffer says, you're right. I don't want him to let him destroy me either, a redaction. The Trump anger spiral is vicious. Carlson, Tr Tucker Carlson says, that's for sure, it's deadly. It almost consumed me in November when Sidney Powell attacked us. It was very difficult to regain emotional control, but I knew that I had to. We've only got two weeks left. We can do this. Now, those are some pretty severe uh, 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 denouncements of the basically savior uh, of the Republican Party, Donald Trump. And it actually, I, I wanna talk about these comments for a little bit, uh, for a while, because we've been talking broader about Trump and his position in the political sphere right now. Tucker was right uh, to say that his power has been, that, he, that Donald Trump's power has diminished, that he has become incalculably less powerful uh, since he's been out of office. It's absolutely undeniably true. However, Donald Trump still contain, con has the most relative power of any Republican figure, even though his power has diminished massively. He no longer has the unbelievable access to everything that he had when he was literally president of the United States but nobody else can come close to him. No one else commands conservative culture quite like Donald Trump. Uh, no one is polling as well as Donald Trump. Donald Trump has uh, essentially, like, he just got, uh, he just got arraigned and charged uh, on, on a whole bunch of, uh, on a whole bunch of uh, uh, federal charges. He made history for being the most criminal president that we've ever had. Um, and, 
yet he's still the most dominant force in the conservative movement. So it's, it's kind of complicated, isn't it? However, uh, I can imagine that Fox News would be very angry to discover that uh, Tucker Carlson was basically two-faced, that in private, Tucker Carlson hated Donald Trump, um, and that because his text leaks, that now they look like they're a bunch of frauds. Uh, Fox News has already been uh, grilled severely by Donald Trump. Donald Trump basically turned against Fox News, and it's been a very tense situation between Donald Trump and Fox News. But now, with the revelation of these texts, which are being heavily publicized, like these texts were published in the New York Times, you know, the, the, the most popular newspaper in America. And, uh, and, and so it puts Fox News in an awkward place because they either have to bite the bullet and say that, that they've been, they've hated Donald Trump all along, which makes them the enemies of the MAGA movement, and they don't exactly have other allies elsewhere because the conservative movement is still completely intertwined by the MAGA movement, or they have to somehow find a way to denounce Tucker Carlson, which is possible. It is possible that this is the reason that he was fired. Hello, Cherry, good to see you. Um. Fox News' viewer base doesn't have the memory capability to remember this in a week, though. I don't know about that. I would generally agree with you, but the one thing that Fox News uh, viewers have the memory for is people speaking bad about Donald Trump. That's basically the one thing that they're obsessed with. And Donald Trump certainly won't forget it. If, if Donald Trump saw these, and we know he saw these because he reads the New York Times. We know that Trump is a news addict. He talked about it all the time. We, we know that Donald Trump found out that Carlson was talking shit about him behind closed doors. Donald Trump will never forgive that. Just remember, Donald Trump's whole thing is loyalty. He's literally gone in interviews and said, I'm a big guy for loyalty. It's all about, it's all about loyalty with me. You know, if you're not loyal, I don't like you. Look at what he's, tr look at what he's done to Ron DeSantis. He's just endlessly bodying Ron DeSantis because Ron DeSantis had the gall to run against him. Fuck Ron DeSantis, by the way. But... Put my point holds, I hope. Yeah, meatball Ron. Meatball Ron over there. I, please, please, I'm just a meatball. I'm a, I don't care if they call me the meatball. Just please vote for me for president. I promise I'll stop eating pudding with my fingers. I promise I won't do it no more. It's too much sugar for me anyway. Please vote for me, please. Um, yeah, meatball Ron. That, that meatball Ron. Um, oh God, uh, did you guys see that, that Puddin commercial that Donald Trump put out? We can watch it, I think. Hold on, let's, this would be a perfect moment to, to illustrate exactly what I'm talking about. I know it's a little bit of a distraction, but um, here it is. Here's some of it at least. Ron DeSantis loves sticking his fingers where they don't belong. And we're not just talking about pudding. Oh, God. DeSantis oh. has his dirty fingers all over senior entitlements. Like cutting Medicare, slashing Social oh. Security, even raising our retirement age. Tell Ron DeSantis to keep his pudding fingers off our money. Oh, and somebody get this man a spoon. Make America Great Again, Inc. is responsible for the content of this advertisement. It literally, it was published by Make America by the MAGA movement. It was published by like one of Trump's advertising ones. Oh my God, it's so disgusting. Uh, why though? Because uh, there's a clip of, of Ron DeSantis eating pudding with his fingers and then him talking about it and denying that it's true. Like it's just the weirdest thing, okay? But all of this, all of this was just to be a point that Donald Trump has not allowed Ron DeSantis uh, a, a, even a moment to breathe because of perceived, di of, of well, literal disloyalty to the Donald Trump movement. So Fox News is in a weird spot. 
Fox News's viewer base is a giant fan of Donald Trump, and it was just revealed that their most popular figure was literally talking about how he hates and despises Donald Trump and thinks that Donald Trump is a demon. Hmm. Hmm. So I've proposed three different possibilities uh, for why Tucker Carlson may have been let go from Fox News. Could be because of the Dominion lawsuit. It could be because of the sexual harassment lawsuits. It could be because of his texts about Donald Trump. But honestly, my personal opinion, this is my personal belief, I believe it's a fourth secret thing, which I don't know what it is, but I personally don't think that any of those three things are enough for Fox News to want to dunk their golden boy. Uh, Tucker Carlson has been so effective for Donald Trump, uh, for not for Donald Trump, for the conservative movement in America. Uh, 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 Tucker Carlson is beloved. He's basically, uh, He's, he's just, he's free real estate. Every time his show comes on, every conservative is watching it in America. It is like so popular, it's hard to even express. It's hard to even explain to you how popular Tucker Carlson is among conservatives. So for Fox News to be willing to throw him to the side, to just end his show with no notice, they literally, according to, uh, according to reports, Tucker Carlson learned 10 minutes before they announced it publicly on Fox News. They were just like, yeah, sorry, Tucker Carlson's gone, guys. Your favorite show is done. 10 minutes. Which is just uh, amazing, uh, to be honest. Um, it's incredible. So anyway, this leads me to conclude that there is probably something that is going to be coming out about about Tucker Carlson um, uh, uh, that is going to uh, that is probably going to uh, uh, make it basic make him basically unemployable. I can't see any other logical reason for why they would throw Tucker Carlson to the side uh, except for, something that is basically unavoidable. Now, what that thing is, I have no idea. There is no way that I could predict that. And I could be completely wrong. Like I said, this is my personal read of the situation based on uh, my familiarity with, with the conservative movement and my familiarity with politics generally. Um, it's, uh, uh, guys, you guys have to understand, uh, Rush Limbaugh, to draw more parallels between Tucker Carlson and Rush Limbaugh, Rush Limbaugh had so many controversies, that guy tanked controversy after controversy after controversy after controversy. He had uh, everything from uh, uh, sexual harassment accusations to uh, hot mic incidents to uh, uh, literally it coming out that he was like, while he was doing rants about like, uh, a, a, like arresting dr uh, drug addicts that he had been addicted to illegal painkillers and was buying like thousands upon thousands of dollars of illicit black market painkillers uh, for years while he's just doing like horrendous content about killing drug dealers. Like he, ha Rush Limbaugh was able to just endure every controversy you can imagine and they didn't ditch him. None of his networks ditched him. So it takes something truly major, uh, usually, to take out a popular conservative figure of that level of, um, I mean, guys, look at even Donald Trump. Donald Trump, like, Donald Trump had the grabber by the pussy thing at the very beginning of his campaign, and it didn't do anything. The Christian conservatives still just bent right over, right for Donald Trump. They didn't even care. Even though all that they talk about is uh, is virtue signaling about Christian values, and they have their president talking about how he uh, how he wants to force himself on women uh, who he's not married to, the younger the better, uh, on on video on a hot mic, uh, and or on, on audio on a hot mic, and and they don't give a shit. They don't care. So it's got to be something uh, either really bad, or 
he has done something internal at Fox so bad that uh, it was unforgivable. Uh, and I don't know what that is yet, but I imagine and I hope that we will find out soon. Um, Prancing Goldfish said, Hassan was saying it could have been a contract dispute. Maybe he tried to play for a bigger contract, but after the lawsuit, Fox couldn't hang, so they dropped him. I don't think so. I, I just, I don't find that believable. Maybe it is possible, but it's, but if that's the case, you don't drop somebody with 10 minutes notice. You don't, um, you don't fire them uh, live on air 10 minutes after telling them. Usually if it's a contract dispute, it's like, okay, finish out this few months of broadcasting and then we'll, we'll part ways. That's not a, uh, this was not a friendly parting of ways, okay? I think the other possibility is that he left on his own because he has bigger plans. There's no, there's no bigger plan. Guys, okay, hold on. Let's just take a look. I want to see if we can get hard stats on, uh, on, uh, uh, okay, here we go. Tucker Carlson tonight dominated the 8 p.m. hour in cable news. 3.25 million live viewers it averaged in the first three months of 2023. It's leagues ahead of rivals uh, on other channels. Chris Hayes on NBC, the same hour, the same time slot on a gigantic channel, only garnered 1.33 million, L like half, less than half of what he was pulling. Anderson Cooper 360 pulled only 703 concurrent live viewer average. Tucker Carlson's live viewership is actually almost, it's, it's almost incomprehensible how large it is. There is no bigger thing for him to do. Fox News is the most viewed uh, uh, news channel in the United States of America. There isn't a bigger platform than being the prime time spot of Fox on Fox News. People saying that they think that it's gonna be, there's gonna be pedo revelations. I can't say anything about that. I don't know. Uh, Tucker Carlson is definitely a very creepy guy. Uh, and it wouldn't surprise me, uh, given um, uh, the general attitude towards child marriage and child uh, treatment on the on the in the Republican and conservative movement. Um, but yeah, Kaboka says running for president that will never happen. Being a running mate to another cap uh, candidate also will never happen. Working for a smaller network that will pay him more not worth it. I just, I don't buy any of those. First of all, Tucker Carlson can't run for president. He has no political history. Uh, he does not have the clout of Donald Trump and he would have to run against Donald Trump, which would be seen as a betrayal to the MAGA movement, which dominates the conservative party. I don't think so. Same thing goes for running mate. He has no political history and he, he is more valuable to the conservative movement as their loudest mouthpiece. There isn't the next smaller network that exists uh, on the conservative side is, I don't even know, Newsmax? And they can't pay him more. Bizadu says they wouldn't care about pedo shit. Um, I think it depends on how severe it is. I really think it depends. I think it really depends. He's still going to be paid out through the end of his contract. Oh, for sure. Uh, people say maybe he murdered somebody. I do think that a a like an undeniable crime could be um, could be one of the things that does it. It could. I I unironically think that could be one of the things um, that does it. However, I've also seen another theory, um, which is that uh uh. Uh, that he uh, that he pissed off Rupert Murdoch um, because of straight uh, of, of, of weird religious uh, uh, religious statements but even that to be honest doesn't it doesn't exactly uh, work 
for me. I, it doesn't make sense. Like, for example, let me, let, me, let me read these, okay? This is from an article by Vanity Fair, okay? According to a source, uh, Fox corporate chair Rupert Murdoch removed Carlson over remarks that Carlson made during a speech at the Heritage Foundation's 50th anniversary gala last Friday night. Carlson laced his speech with religious overtones that even Murdoch found too extreme. The source, who was briefed on Murdoch's decision-making, had said, Carlson told the Heritage audience that national politics had become a, Men a Menichian battle between good and evil. Carlson said that people advocating for transgender rights and DEI programs want to destroy America and that they could not be persuaded with facts. We should say that and stop engaging in these totally fraudulent debates. I've tried, that doesn't work. Uh, the answer Carlson suggested was prayer. I've concluded that it might be worth taking 10 minutes out of your busy schedule to say a prayer for the future, uh, he said. The source said that stuff freaks Rupert Murdoch out. He doesn't like spiritual talk. Uh, uh, in my May cover story, I reported that Murdoch and Smith called off their two-week engagement because Smith had told people Carlson was a messenger from God. During dinner, uh, Murdoch's uh, ex fiance Anne Leslie Smith, pulled out a Bible and started reading passages from the book of Exodus. Rupert just sat there and stared. A few days before the dinner, Murdoch and Smith called off their wedding. By taking Carlson off the air, Murdoch might also be taking away his ex's favorite show. The 92-year-old mogul's broken engagement is part of a string of erratic decisions that he made lately that raises questions about his leadership of the media empire. Personally, I don't think this theory lines up either. Rupert Murdoch has all kinds of uh, uh, Christian weirdos on his networks. So I just don't, I don't really buy it. But it is another theory. I personally think that we have yet to find out what the actual reason is. I, I really, I really think that it's going to be the four, the fourth, or in this case now because I've read another theory, fifth secret thing. However, for all of you out there who do hope for a better world, this is indeed good news. Tucker Carlson. Um, whatever you think about Tucker Carlson was incredibly effective for propagating the conservative movement. His addictive uh, 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 propaganda, literal pro raw propaganda, has, has basically been responsible for spinning up multiple moral panics that helped conservatism push forward. The guy pushes um, uh, anti-science, anti-vaccine, anti-transgender, anti-immigrant sentiments on a constant basis from his, his show. And like I said, there is no other platform as big as what he had. Even if there is some unknown reason we never find out and he just goes and makes a show somewhere else, he will have diminished power. He will have severely diminished ac access to a platform and he will have se severely diminished power. And that's a good thing for anyone who cares about anything other than Christian nationalism. If you are a theocrat and you believe that God should have full control of the United States, I'm sure you're very, very bummed right now. If you believe that we should bring back kings and queens and that corporate uh, corporate CEOs should basically become modern royalty. Uh, I'm sure you're very bummed right now, but every other type of person on the planet, anybody who cares about the environment, anybody who cares about climate change, anybody who cares about public health, anybody who cares about civil rights, you should all be celebrating because this is indeed a very strange victory. And also a perfect example of the right eating the right. Remember how I said, that the right is brutal in their cancellations of one another, that uh, the, the right is actually uh, significantly more cancel hungry than the left. They're just way more brutal, so nobody bounces back. This is a absolutely perfect example of exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and also, it further illustrates what I've been talking about for literal months now, which is that there is a, uh, a insane shakeup of the right-wing movement in America, and we don't know who's gonna take power right now. Um, and 
at, at, although it doesn't look like anyone is successfully able to challenge Donald Trump's uh, 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 crown. Donald Trump is still the singular uniting force on the right, and anybody who challenges him in any way is falling by the wayside, um, which is certainly very strange. Personally, I think that liberals, leftists, and everybody else who isn't a conservative should take this opportunity to become as politically engaged as you possibly can. Uh, whether that is electorally, uh, whether that is via freedom of speech, such as participating in protests, lobbying, uh, 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 petitioning, uh, your politicians directly, whether that is through things like mutual aid, setting up, uh, 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 taking advantage of organization to uh, take care of people's needs and, and get them uh, participating in a larger political process. This is the time. Uh, the right wing movement is in disarray. Their largest figures are collapsing. They are, there is going to be weeks where there will be no Tucker Carlson spewing hatred. We should be boosting messages as hard as possible. And by the way, if you'd like to help me in my goal of making the world a better place with my political entertainment, uh, which is way more entertaining than a Tucker Carlson, way more uh, uh, sane and rational than a Rush Limbaugh, you should go ahead and subscribe to my channel right now and make sure that you comment and like every single Demon Mama video because you know you want to become one of Demon Mama's imps. And this is the opportunity to get other voices out there while the signal is not being clouded out by the hateful noise of people like Tucker Carlson. We have a unique opportunity to boost creators who have different opinions while the algorithm isn't being clogged with Tucker Carlson's trash. This is a chance for people to, to take the time to see other perspectives that they haven't been listening to because they've been too busy getting their ears full of Tucker Carlson making this face and going, well, what about the gay people? How about those disgusting immigrants? Become an imp today. Let's make a better world together, huh? Unironically though, seriously, this is, this is, a, this is a moment for celebration. Uh, uh, Tucker Carlson is uh, just a heinous voice and he's no longer got a platform. That is awesome. Yeah, live Tucker reaction. There you go. There's a bunch for the thumbnail. Tucker Carlson is eating M&Ms right now, shirtless, crying and watching old reruns of his show. Okay, guys, the last thing. There's one last thing I want to uh, I want to share before we wrap out this Tucker Carlson segment, which is this. You guys want to see the funniest thing? So, Tucker Carlson hasn't tweeted in five days, okay? However, he did update, he did update his Twitter bio so that it no longer says Fox News, which is hilarious to know that literally the moment he got fired, <laughs> get a job, Tucker! Just kidding, I hope you remain unemployed for the rest of your existence. I hope this guy never gets a job. But it is funny that jobless Tucker is bumming around and only had time to remove the Fox News from his bio, which is, mm, ah, beautiful, just beautiful.